Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to learn characters and groups and ranges within regex patterns. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, welcome back. So let us begin with the characters. Characters are the most simple ones that we can uh, search for using regex. So here are some examples that I've got. Let me just wrap them with quote with the comments so they don't cause trouble. So um, B or six or string are all characters that we can perform a search for. So for example, here this example right here, uh, we are putting in a string of A, B, C, D, E, and we're looking for B. So this is going to return a number two, which is the position of the character B, A and B. So the second one is matched and we've got the number two to represent that. Six is also the same case. So if I go ahead and run this, what we're going to get is the six uh, value of six, which represents the sixth position of the match. So that's how you can perform a character ma match for numbers. And you can also do a match for a string. So I'm looking for a string match of R and there is R in here. So it's going to return the position of R and that's going to be 11 because R is starting from the beginning of the of the string. R is in the 11th position. So let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is where the word R starts. And that's how you can match a string combined from characters. Now let's move on to groups and ranges. It's going to be a little bit trickier than character, but it's not going to be that difficult. So let me update this. Groups. Then we'll go into the ranges a bit later. So groups are like this. So you use the square brackets to specify groups of characters. So uh, example here is that if we do say, for example, have a string of one to five energy and we try to match um, A to Z, this means any character that sits including A to Z, sits between A to Z. So G is one of the characters that sits between A to Z, right? So I'm going to get a match of six, which represents the position of the character G, okay? Now, if I change this to capital letter G, this is not going to return a number of six. It's going to return zero, which means no match was found. And that is because G is capitalized. And if you want to match that, what you gotta do is you have to capitalize A and Z as well, then you get the match. Now you can switch on the uh, option prefix of I to make the regex match case insensitive, but that's something that I'm going to go into a little later. Right. Um, let's say uh, if it changes to zero to nine, that means I'm going to match numbers. So that's going to return a number of one, which represents the first number here, the number that um, it sits between zero to nine. And also you can go A to Z, capital letter A to Z and zero to nine to mean everything. So everything that is A, Z, A to Z or capital letter A to Z or zero to nine. So I can, this is basically going to return uh, one every time I type any character that is that belongs in any of these things. So that's how you can specify more of them. Now this is a special list of special characters that you can uh, use to search for special characters. So I've got an example here, an example string. I can just pop that in. Now the you can put more special characters. I think that this is an exhaustive, but if you want to match any special character, you can put all of them in in this way to match special characters. Now, there are some uh, characters that require escape sequence, which I'm going to go into a little bit further later, but this backslash here is an escape sequence that requires uh, you to put in in order to match the subsequent special character like that. Uh, double quote also. But this is double quote is for auto haki because auto haki requires double quotation to literally mean a single quotation. And that's why within this string, we have double quotes 
around the word R to wrap R in single quotation marks. So if I go ahead and run this, I'll get a number 5, which represents the quotation mark here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This double quote, which gets converted to a single quote, which also has to be double quoted in the needle regex or regex pattern to have the single quote matching. Okay. Now, so that's the special characters. You can also set up groups that are not holistic like A to Z. So for example, A to D is another way to set up a group. So this is going to include just A, B, C, and D, or 5 to 8, or A, D, K, Z, okay, A, D, K, Z. And this can also be A, D, K, Z like that. So you have the pipe here, but it's not a must. And so you can simply skip the pipes. But if you want, you can put in the pipes and make it look cleaner. You are just basically means you or are. And it's useful if you are trying to match words that uh, sometimes have in certain countries, you, you put you uh, before are for certain words and sometimes you don't right so if you put in the square brackets and then you are inside the square brackets then it means you want to match both color and color with you are okay and this is the same as as a z a z n zero nine so this is a this is how you can put pipes to separate them out but it's not a must and then Let's move on to ranges. So ranges are ranging, ranges are these things. So this is not a range, but this is a range. So you see curly braces. Curly braces means I'm going to uh, repeat the previous one x number of times, which is represented by the number here. So you can put in up to two numbers separated by a comma. And then if you put nothing in here, that means I'm going to find a match that has at least three occurrences of small letter A to Z up to no maximum. If you put a number of 6A, for example, then you're going to match up to six occurrences of that. So let us take some example. So I've got the example for the first one here. So A to Z three times. This is going to match the word man okay, because you've got the word man which has three small letters. So that's going to match this and then it's going to return a number of eight which is the starting position of the word man. And then the next message box is going to output the match, matched pattern um, which is possible if you put in the third parameter, a variable name like that. And so you get man. Now this is achievable by using a range as well. I mean, strictly speaking, this is not a range. This is just a repetition, but it becomes a range once you use the comma. And so you want to get the same result when you run this. You get a number of eight for the position and the word man back. Now this is a use of a range, so we don't have a maximum. That means I can match up to however many characters as long as they have a to z right so this is going to return a number of eight which is the starting position of mainly and then the output variable is going to be mainly so that's because uh, that has at least three small letter a to z that successfully matched now another example which has a maximum value of six so this time what it's going to do is it's still going to match this. Right? It's going to go one, two, three. Okay, that met the minimum of three of small letter A to Z. So that's good. And then it's going to eat up to one, four, five, and six. And then it will stop there. And therefore, it's going to return this value. Now, if you don't, you don't need, you don't need a word that has um, just six characters. You can have words that have more than six characters but as long as you can find the six the first six letters matching either one either character um, that sits uh, between a to z or a to z then it's going to match that and therefore it's going to uh, return a value of eight and 
uh, value of masculine for output variable okay now if you want a for example a word that has up to six characters of a to z then you can put a space here let's just assume masculine is a word it's not a word i think um, but if you if you, if this was a word then there would be a space here right then you can provide a space here as well to make it separated out and therefore you're going to get that result i mean you're going to get the same result but that's how you can um you can do that uh if you have if you're particularly looking for a word that has six maybe i can add something else here um okay maybe i can add masculine down here so you would think okay well um, if I remove this this is going to match this bit so we're going to get a value of 8 which is the which is this position right here and then masculine I mean masculine but if I put a space then that's gonna match the 11th position which is gonna be this one so let me count that 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay my bad I need to put in a space here as well in order to uh, get a a word that has up to six characters and that was so this happened because regex went one one two three four five six and then realizes more right and so he moved on to the next one one two three four five six and then he realized there's more so you skip that and then went to the next one and next one next one until it found this one where it went one two three four five six hey, hey there you go because there's a space here and there's a space at the end of colleen it did a match of if it considered this to be a match and therefore if i press ok then i'll get colleen right so if i put a space like that so the result that you saw just now was without the space before. Now if I press space here, then I'm going to get this one. So let's see what number we get. We get 17, which is going to be, so this was 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, 17. Oh, yeah, 17 because, um, because you, you have a space here. So that whole thing is a match. And the beginning of this space here is the 17th position. That's why. Okay. Let's move on to this one. This is actually a qualifier. I didn't mean to cover this, but I'll go into this a little bit more in detail. So plus sign is a qualifier. And this basically means, I can actually reduce this. No. This basically means then that you want an occurrence of this at least one time or more so it's quite similar to that and that and this is going to return i think i have the old one running this is going to return a number of one right um and that's gonna be the i here so if i put in actually i should have put in at least three because i've got i want i'm trying to match this one and I've got a character that, that is in this group, A to Z, and there's two occurrences of that. So uh, to get this one, I need three occurrences at least. And that's going to, this is going to get this one because it has at least one occurrence of three of these or more. So if I go ahead and run it, I get a number eight and I'll get masculine. And this can be done by using the qualifier, the plus sign. We're going to get the same result. Okay, so that's it for today's video. So we've covered characters and groups and ranges. The next video will cover the next ones. I think it's most likely going to be the not operator as well as the classes of characters. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.